named and styled investment plan for building a resilient health system in Liberia 2015 to 2021, is the Bible for the new kind of healthcare system policy document that should be carrying for the health of the nation that was recently highly plagued by the Ebola virus disease, the EVD outbreak. According to the plan, its goal is to build a resilient health system which restores the gains lost due to the EVD crisis and provides health security for the people of Liberia by reducing rates due to epidemics and other health threats and accelerates progress towards universal health coverage by improving access to safe and quality health services. It also aims to ensure for Liberia access to safe and quality health services a robust health emergency risk management system and an enabling environment that restores trust in the government's ability to provide services. The drivers of such plan are the healthcare workers. It is enshrined in the document as a first of high priority investment area. The document emphasizes a productive and motivated workforce. Training of healthcare workers have got on a way to satisfy the productive segment of the document, but the motivating factor still remains a misery. There are lots of discrepancies with the payment of wages and incentives of healthcare workers in addition to the problem of no work status of healthcare workers serving voluntarily for years in the system. Healthcare workers are so afraid to speak out for fear of being dismissed and suppressed as is being done to the two leaders of the National Health Workers Association of Liberia, NAWA. We had to conceal the identity of this healthcare worker so as to avoid repression by the government. Now some people are not on payroll. Even some people were employed up to now, they are not getting their incentive, which is allocated for health workers that are working in rural area. Many other healthcare workers complain that their salaries are usually cut unlawfully. Additionally, the document does not address the long-distance healthcare workers have to travel to access banks to get paid in rural communities. This makes the facilities to have less number of healthcare workers to provide care to the people. The resident health plan theoretically is a very good thing and we all feel it is implemented to the letter it will yield good results. Unfortunately, what is unveiling does not seem to prove that we're going to yield that desired result. Because, you see, when you talk about resilient health sector, the foundation of the resilient health sector is a resilient workforce. Resilient health workforce. And so there must be training, which we see, uh, I mean, is going on, that is good. Uh, there has to be infrastructure which we are not seeing to the level it should be. And the welfare of the health worker must be looked into, which is highly discouraging in the country. The government did not involve the healthcare workers' unions, both public and private, as in the crafting document, as they have not recognized the public union. The plan projects the increase of the number of healthcare workers per 10,000 people from 8.6 in 2015 to 11 in 2017 and reaching the ultimate goal of 14 in 2021. Healthcare workers doubt the achievability of such with the current trend of demotivation they are experiencing. There are many accounts of officials of government seeking healthcare in other countries does contrasting the commitment to building a resilient healthcare system to cater to the health needs of the Liberian people.